Check out this uh, beautiful backdrop we have for this review tonight. It's not the same as the park. No. I gotta say. We tried. I know. We did a attempt to do it at the park. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> now we have park. to do it in here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> guys, forgive us here. We're, we're just not used to doing no. reviews from this room uh -huh. anymore. If like, you've been what watching, is this? If you've been watching our stuff lately, we've been <laughs> outside like pretty much All everything. All natural. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, we got to the park uh, too late. Mm -hmm. It's it's getting darker earlier, and um, you got home a little later. Yeah, we brought the lantern. It still didn't work, no, though. No, <laughs> it, it didn't work. It was no. too dark. You guys would have complained. Yeah, we would have gotten <laughs> some complaints for sure. Yeah. Anyway, we're back in the, uh, the knife room, as mm -hmm. we call it these days. And we've got a, um, well, a review we're fairly excited about. Right, yes. This is, of course, a Wii knife, right? I kind of gave it away with the case. Maybe so. <laughs> the um, the one we're looking at tonight is one of the budget models. Yes. Frankie, it might have been the first budget model. I don't know. This is Do the you know for a fact? Not for a fact, but it's if it wasn't the first, it was close. This mm -hmm. is the 617. In this case, it's the B, but they have... Um, the B is literally for bargain for this one. Actually, it is, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will... Um, We'll talk about the series of knives. This pretty much represents, you know, the only differences are color and uh, mm -hmm. blade finish. We'll talk about so that a little like bit. So there's like A, B, C, D, E, e F, G. I forget. Well, there's Do six they skip total. H? There's I'm six sure. total, and I wasn't counting. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, six total, as far as we know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's get to it here. Um, well, w one thing I should mention. Okay. Yes. This knife came out about a year ago. Yeah, true. So we're kind of late to the party on this one. We are very late. We're so, just fashionably late, okay? We're fashionably late, yeah. We will say it's still relevant for, for a couple of reasons. One, it's a great knife. Mm -hmm. Two, it's... They priced the, dro priced the drop. Priced the drop? They dropped the price. <laughs> so this knife, we can go ahead and mention price. Um, it started out as right about 120, mm -hmm. 118, I believe. They're now found everywhere. For a hundred dollars. Straight up a hundred dollars. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're gonna make the case that uh, it's yeah, a good deal. It, it's worth it. It's a good deal. It's for worth sure. it. All right, where should we start here? Okay. We already mentioned the B for bargain. The B for the bargain. Yeah. Uh, um, what are we doing? Let's. You want to get into the blade? Yeah, sure. We'll start with it. Overall, this is a this is a fairly big knife. Mm -hmm. Watch your hand there. Let me show the. There's a little spot, speck of something there. I'm not sure what that is. It's glitter. It's glitter? <laughs> what? Probably. I don't you know. You should admit that we have glitter here. There. I fixed it. From Halloween or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But just check this out, guys. Um, it's it's a bigger knife. Mm -hmm. It's a bigger knife, okay? Well, it's a 3.9 inch blade. 3.9 inch blade. All right. Um, I rounded up a little bit. I think it's slightly less you than tend that. You to do that. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. <laughs> we, we all do. <laughs> what? It's like at least eight, nine inches then. <laughs> Frankie, this is... We need, we're like three and a half minutes into this. Okay, we, we should actually said, get into the knife. We barely said anything. Okay, 3.9 inches. Roughly. <laughs> okay, it's a harpoon style blade. Yes. Check out that. Yeah, I love it. I love the harpoons. This is a cool just... style. The blade shape in general on this knife, I'm a huge fan of. There, let's put it in the um, Yeah. There you I go. I think we're getting that. Look at that nice belly. Okay, really the blade is uh -huh. all belly. It's all, it's lots of belly. Yeah, check this out. Go ahead and set it down. Check okay. this out, guys. Um, so it's, it's just got a constant radius to it. That's mm -hmm. all belly. Now, why I'm going to say that I like this, I'm a fan of this, is... Um, if this were my knife, by the way, this is on loan from Zelric. We'll, right. we'll mention yep. that again. But um, if this was my knife, this would be one that I would want to sharpen right away. Mm -hmm. um, I'd put it on the KME sharpener, okay? It would clamp perfectly to this uh, flat ground blade. True, yeah. Right? This would be a very easy blade to mm -hmm. sharpen. This yep. constant radius. It would be very easy to put a, an even edge um, tip to heel. Yeah. Okay. That would be nice too. I would also flatten that out and make it a real low profile edge. Mm, this nice. would look awesome with that. Yeah, it would. This would be a knife that I would want to sharpen. Um, what kind of steel is it? It is D2. 
D2 is, um, well, it's one of the things it's known for is edge retention. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, D2's been popular for a while now, actually. Mm -hmm. It's nothing new. Well, it's kind of considered a bit of a more budget, well, a lesser quality blade steel than we usually use this. These days, it's it's there are better steels, mm -hmm. perhaps, but D2 is very good. Right. So much so that we want to say other companies such as Browse. Browse, Browse heavily uses D2. I think specifically only. I think only, only yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as I know. You're sticking your finger in the bee hole? Yep, I'm putting it right in the hole. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> anyway. Oh my God. No, Browse, okay. Medford, another company you may have heard of. Mm-hmm. Made a little size comparison there. <laughs> but yeah, um, these these American companies that are specifically much, use D2 for much more expensive, mm -hmm. they use D2. Um, you know what I just realized? What's that? These two knives have something else in common. They do have something else in common. What is it? Um, Nick Shabayaz gave it to you. Hey, wait, pronounce that again? Shabayaz? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the country, <laughs> Shabazz. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, interestingly, these were both gifts from Nick uh -huh. Shabazz. I'm feeling like <laughs> we're a little behind on gifts. Well, we've given him we, a couple of things. We, at least, I, 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 I remember think, I gave yeah. him a, I gave him a Kershaw. Well, I gave him a granola bar at Blade Show. That counts. It's completely, I think it's even. That counts actually, yeah. <laughs> or at we're, least we're whittling away at it. We're, chip, we're chipping away at it, yes. Yeah. Um, no, but other companies, you know, reputable high-end companies are using D2. Specifically use it, yeah. The only real negative about D2 is that it's not considered, technically it's not stainless. Right. It has it's less chromium. Less chromium, which gives you your stainless, you want to be around 13%, right. I believe it is, to get the stainless um, status. Stainless status. This blade spots easily, though. Smudges? Well, it smudges. Maybe you should get the um, the DLC or the black coated. That's true. It does come in that. That's yeah. a nice little segue. Actually, should we talk about the varieties real yeah, quick? Yeah, we should. So this is the B version, and there's six others mm -hmm. that we that we think. I'll, I'll bring a picture in. How about that? It comes in tan and green, and then the satin finish, and then the black coated. You're doing that off memory. Yeah, yeah. I know. I okay. memorized it. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, so you got two different uh, choices of blade. I think in every color. Of, of yeah, handle? Yeah, that's what it looks Something like. Something like that, yeah. But um, I would possibly go with the DLC coating if it were if it were my choice, but this is good looking as well. Yeah, it, it looks good like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, not technically stainless, so it's, it's a steel that you want to just keep an eye on. And actually, I'd like to hear from the audience a little bit more because I've never like long-term used heavily a D used a D2. i've never long-term used a d2 knife to know like you know how quickly does it rust that kind of thing true yeah um so leave your comments about d2 but, but um yeah let's, let's talk about the pivot because that's what i like about it and the detent nice it is so smooth this is such a smooth knife i just love it it's so fun to play with flip and play listen to that guys flip it falls on its own weight and clicks into place. The detent is, it matches, it Much matches that. higher end knives. It matches that of knives that are, that, that cost way more. Oh yeah, for way sure. Way more. And, and at this point we've handled a lot of knives. Yeah, um, we've handled all for, our fair share. I will say about the detent. Can't shake it out. You will not shake this knife mm -mm. out. Um, and at the same time, it fires relatively easily. Yeah, it and really does. It really just flies out of there. It is a fondler flipper. Fondler flipper? Yes. It's, it's a Frankie fondler flipper. Triple, triple F, F. Triple F status? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if that's going to catch on. It should. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, look at the, the jimping on here. They've got the three notches. Look at that. Well, that's what we is known for. Is it their three notches? It signatures their W and their E. Yeah. I don't know if you figured that out before. That's what I'm pointing out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just said notches, so I wasn't sure if you knew the reason behind the well, notches. Well, that's what they technically are. But the jimping on the top, which is functional. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Shut up. Feels, the knife feels good feels in the good. hand. It does. Frankie, this knife's too big for you. But I like it. I can grip onto it really well, well you, and it is nice. You recognize quality. Oh, yeah, for this sure. This is a knife that I would carry, is what I'm going to tell you guys. Okay. Um, this guy's distracting. Let's get him out of here. Okay. 
It, you're just looking at the bee hole. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch that review. What is it? The silent soldier flipper? Yes. Yeah. That's terrible. Okay, but... The, the pivot, though, um, and, and what we're talking about, the action on this knife, it is ceramic bearings, mm -hmm. okay? Which I believe is the Ball same. Bearings. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. Because they wouldn't know that otherwise. Exactly. Some people right. don't know. Um, which I believe it's it's no different than any of their other higher-end knives. I don't think there's... Uh, which You want to go ahead and do that? Yeah. Let's bring some of the other knives out. Frankie, which model is that? This is the 601. What's the letter? Um... I don't know. <laughs> exactly. 601. <laughs> what, what model is this one? Um, that's the purple guy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the reason we're saying this is it gets tough to remember all these numbers uh -huh. and letters. We it's just like, know this one because this is the their first knife. It's like <laughs> it's like military almost, like with jet planes. It's like the F-18 or the F-16 or the A-10 or something. Uh -huh. it, and then they've got the different letters associated with those. P-20. Um, <laughs> Bomber. I don't know. <laughs> P20? I just made it Pretty up. Pretty sure that's not... Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, there's a couple out of our collection here. But yeah, I, this one's easy to remember, the 601, because it was the very first mm -hmm. one. It's the one that started it off. Yeah, he did start it off. Um, check out the action on that since you've been handling this one. I mean, it is very similar. It really is. It really is, is isn't it? Uh-huh. This one actually falls a little bit better. Which is crazy, I know. Maybe the blade itself is a little heavier. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. It just has a little bit easier. In that sense, you guys are you guys are just gonna sit around and play, play with, with it. it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, but check out Frankie the Frankie Fondle flipper. Check out the purple guy. Yeah. Um, we got a couple other. Well, let's see. We've got this one. I think maybe they are changing um, to get it getting away from getting away from the number and letter designations. Oh, true. This guy here is, what is it called? Resilience. Resilience Res is already in there. Resonance. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you got that? <laughs> the resonance. Um, well, and, and you got one here. This is this is a newer budget model. Um, that one is the Blitz. Ooh. And actually, check this out. Let's see if we can get something behind right, there, okay. get your hand behind there. Okay. Check this out, guys. One thing to note on this it's not stars no nope, it's Torx like every other knife in the mm -hmm. world yep. pretty much um, which is gonna be seen by most as a good thing mm -hmm. but he's attacking Licking. You. yeah I know. yeah that's another thing yeah mr. Buttersworth that's a that's <laughs> little pug if you guys don't already know yeah this one's a little smaller and I think because it is lighter it's just not it doesn't feel as smooth well, but the thing that's crazy about this is that what you're going to say, budget model, these guys are over $200. Well over $200. Mm -hmm. I want to say this one's close to 290 Yeah. This one may be about the same. I forget. Yeah, I forget what he is. We, we were so prepared with that. But yeah, they're, they're more than double the price. But the quality, we cannot tell you enough. The quality is just out there with this guy so much. It's so where are you? We'll get into the handle scales now, mm -hmm. and it is a liner lock instead of a frame lock. Okay, speaking of the liner lock, how does that action? The liner lock, how is the action of the liner lock? I mean, oh, it's like it has nice grip to it, it's perfect. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got plenty of leverage to where it's it's very easy to open. There's it's zero, super easy. there's zero lock stick, it doesn't hurt your thumb or anything. No. It's just it's easy to access. You just have to get it that little part and then it just shuts itself. But G10 scales, and G10 we talked scales, about the different colors. So this is where you're going to get into the budget side of things a little bit. G10 scales versus titanium and carbon right. fiber on the on the purple guy. Yeah, true. Okay. Um, you, they get pretty extravagant sometimes on their other models. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, G10 is relatively simple, but look how finely... I like it a textured lot. Textured that is. And I've gone, I've grown to just really like G10. I just, I really like G10. Well, that's good all around use. Mm -hmm. This would be a good user. Um, but yeah, the, the the detail on that. Let's let me see if I can show them. Okay. The liner there. Yeah, well, it's and just. And what's different about the liner? This is part of the budget part of it too. What's that? There, it's stainless steel liners, and they are not skeletonized. Yes. Okay. So this was the first or right around the first of the budget models that they put out last year. 
So this represented a new direction for them or a new addition, right? Right. Okay, so can we show them that? Do we have a flashlight? I think it's well, right over there. I mean, let's see here. Okay. I mean, they are like a little bit, but there's stainless steel in there. Actually, they are. Yeah, they are. The other ones aren't. Are we just lucky? The other ones that we've seen aren't. Mm -hmm. We've specifically looked at this. So maybe the <laughs> earlier model did. <laughs> Okay, well, while we're talking about that, because it affects the weight. Yeah, Here, keep let me the, keep this spotlight that's, on That's it. what you do. I know. Um, let's, while we're talking about the weight, then, uh, guys, uh, sorry, that one surprised us, because we've seen these without. Zero. Zero. 4.35. Um, I think the specs show it as five something. So you know what? Hmm. Get these. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's n there's even less downsides to this now. Uh -huh. Shoot, I, I didn't even look in Way at to be that prepared. One. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Let's see the width. It's still going to be a, a girthy. He is a dope girthy. I wanted to call it a girthy bastard, but he's not a bastard. Yeah, his parents were together. That's, that's <laughs> <so>. <laughs> 0. 0.576. Yep. Round up. To 0.58, <laughs> of course. Right, yeah. It's, it's a little on the thicker side, okay? You're going to know, I've carried this knife a little bit. You're going to know it's in your pocket. Mm -hmm. It's just a little thicker, and it just takes up space. Well, what I like about this knife is that I, I like the, the size of it. I actually do. I, I don't, like, if it's little, you want it to be light and little. If it's big, you kind of want a little weight to it. I do. Yeah, real quick, like, I'm not going to go camping with this knife. I'll take a spider co. Right. You know, something like that, or, um, a yeah. fixed blade. A fixed blade, a spider co, that kind of stuff. This knife, this is one that I'd take to the office, you know. <laughs> <laughs> people, right. People think I'm weird that way, but mm -hmm. you they guys. They think you're weird in other ways, too. You guys don't. You guys know what I'm talking about. But right. this would be more of just an urban, everyday carry. It's it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just cool. It is. It really has its own cool factor to it. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're really rambling. We are. We're almost yeah. at 20 minutes. Let's okay. uh, move it on okay, here. Okay, let's get back into it. There is titanium on it. It's a titanium pocket clip. Let's Molly show says that. hi. Um, let's show that. We can go like this. Yeah, titanium pocket clip, which is very functional. I'm going to go get a chip. I'll be back. Frankie, what do I do? Just small talk. Real quick. It's not a tappy clip, yay, and I don't think it's going to develop into a tappy clip anytime soon. Okay, I'm uh, back. Real quick, yay. I held down the fort. Okay, good. Perfect centering, all right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, titanium on the clip, guess what else? Titanium on the hardware. And backspacer. And backspacer, which I love this backspacer. I love the color combo of this one, just the black and gray is yep. just awesome. Yep, and then there's the other combos as well. Um, speaking of hardware. Mm-hmm. Proprietary. I know. This is, I guess it's a sensitive subject to some people out there, but I really like it. You like I it? I like the proprietary hardware. I, I gotta know people don't like it, but I do. I gotta admit that I like the appearance of it. I do. I do. I think it looks way cooler than that. Just saying. The functionality is where it becomes a problem I know, long term. But I love the looks of the stars. By the way, this is the, this is, let's, let's leave this one out. Okay. The Blitz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Same this, price. This is like a, a new one, like as of current mm -hmm. to this video. Yeah. I don't care for this one mm -hmm. as much. I, and it doesn't have the smooth factor. It feels like a lesser quality knife. The handle texture, we'll talk about it maybe some other time. I just don't like it. And I it's don't, okay. I, mean, I it's, don't like the torques. I just don't. I think it cheapens it. Hmm, but that's okay. me. Because I just, like, look at the difference. Like, maybe, there, maybe if they did it in black, it'd be better. But I'm just saying, like... I think I like there, this I think there is an argument for that. I, mm -hmm. I do agree that they, that it looks good. Oh, and there's their. But I mean, that could just be being a girl that likes stars. So I mean, that could <laughs> okay. be you know like whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of okay, well, what are you doing? I was gonna open this. Oh, the case. To show. Oh, shoot. And we lost the. We lost have, the plastic. I don't think we need that. It's so, official so plastic. Much, but. Um, yeah, there's the proprietary tool. It comes with it. We've used them before. Uh, we took apart the 601 there well, on we changed video. The, well, and we changed the... We changed the hardware. Back hardware. when they used to... Oh, yeah, back oh, when they used to include yeah, that's true. additional hardware. Uh, oh, Frankie, you know what? 
public service announcement time? I think it's real quick. Sorry, guys. We're going to get yeah. away from the review just for a second here. Okay. This okay. is a public service announcement. You got if that. If I can talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, these are desiccant packs, okay? Right. They, they come with the knives to absorb moisture, all right? Mm -hmm. It's silica gel. Don't eat these. No. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's been, apparently it's a real problem and it's on the rise. People are eating these. Um, mm -hmm. We're losing good knife collectors. We're losing dumb knife collectors if they're eating this. This is, okay, you shouldn't call them that, all right? Okay. They're uninformed. Uninformed. Okay? Okay. But we're losing good people every day that are eating these. Stop eating these, okay? It's this is a salt packet. <laughs> this is silica gel, okay? Don't this, eat these. You can eat this, don't eat. Or like snort, that's... or, yeah, it's... Yeah. All right. We that's just want, sorry, we just wanted right? to say that real quick. We're, yeah. we're over 20 minutes here. Okay. Um, real quick, if we're talking 100 bucks, though, this is a huge value. Um, let's bring in a couple of the Kaisers. Okay. Kaiser is, a, is another company that's obviously in, in a good league um, with, with the Chinese knives. There's the beg letter. <laughs> Every time the light hits it, I'm just like, "Ooh, it's so pretty! Look that's, at your that's nice That's my edge. edge. That's the that's the kind of edge I would put on there on the on the cami. Um, oh, my little dukes! You know these knives. Um, you can get those for what around fifty. Mm -hmm. I mean the 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 um, Vanguard series that is right it, is Kaiser's budget series. You could get those for, I mean, fifty to say seventy-five, eighty. Yeah, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Yep. So. Uh, $25 they, more? Do they quite have the feel of this? I'm saying no. But they are worth considering because right. they're sometimes half the price. The bag letter, half the price. I love mm -hmm. this knife. Yeah. You've, um, yeah. You've always Just loved them. Something to consider. Oh, yeah, I'll never get rid of that one. And the dupes. Well, I mean, and that being said, too, it's in that zone. <laughs> throw a Ganzo in there? You might as well throw a Ganzo in there. Okay. I mean, what does he like, 25 uh, 25 somewhere in there. You can get Ganzos from 15 to 30, let's say, okay. and and they're fairly high quality for that money. Okay, um, yeah, the Axis locks a rip off, but it functions very well. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're competing with Benchmade directly nope. at all. No. <laughs> yeah, those are just a, you know a couple of the examples of high end Chinese knives or or budget Chinese knives where right. you're just getting a lot for your money. 100 bucks, Frankie. It's still a lot of money. We have to consider. Um, just a few years ago, we we thought a hundred dollars. Oh was yeah, we would not be spending a hundred bucks. A hundred dollars on a knife? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, or if if you're a young person, whatever your budget is towards knives, sometimes a hundred dollars can be a lot of money. We right. understand that, but this is achievable. Mm -hmm. Um, what else we got? Uh, we wanted to tell about this. Oh, As we now. just wanted to show that off. Oh, Let's set too. it down, set yeah. it down so I can so we can see it. Okay, here, I'm gonna put it that way so you can here, see it. This some. guy's glaring. I've got the light a little bit weird today. Prototype. Mm -hmm. This is the one and only. We got this at Blade Show. We still have no information. We've been asking about this little uh, Kukri neck knife. Show mm -hmm. the yeah. Oh, yeah. Um this is gonna be an awesome neck knife that a lot of you guys are really gonna like. I know, you guys have asked about it, but we still doesn't have a ETA the, on it. I don't think they're in any hurry to push this, but I think they should. <laughs> I know, it's so awesome. <laughs> yes, we want to see this. Anyway, what else do we need to do? What else? I, uh, I think we've covered everything, really. Um, we'll put links in to Blade HQ. They've always got a, an awesome selection on Wii Knives, including... Mm -hmm. Why are we still showing this guy? Oh. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, Making people irritated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we love that one, though. Uh -huh. um, the this, this 617 and other budget models. I, I'm so surprised that this one was milled. Mm -hmm. Guys, let us know if you buy yours. Is it milled yeah, or not? Yeah, is it? Or do you guys have them out there that are or not? Or I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, what else should we say? I guess let's wrap it up. It's Well, you wanted to comment about something else real quick. Oh, thank you for all the well wishes that mm -hmm. we got from, from you guys. Um, I yeah. just, uh, yeah. You survived. I, I did, yeah. And, That's um, good. I'm, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling yeah. fine. <laughs> And thank you for all the well wishes. Frankie did a great job on her video. It was um, only one video. You came back a little. You, you came back. I was going to do a Frankie's favorite video. Well, we could still, we do, can that. still do it. Yeah, yes, we can still do it. Yes, I know. Do that. But then I can have you like film me. Okay. Which sounds weird too. Uh. Um, but anyways. 
<laughs> you make it weird. No, I okay, don't. All right. Um, let's let's wrap it up though. Um, thank you, Zelric. Okay, Frankie. He still doesn't even have three thousand subscribers. Oh, Zelric. He he. D his the quality of his channel deserves more yes, subscribers. Much more. Sure. You guys are gonna love it. We'll put a link to Zelric's channel. You're gonna want to subscribe to him. Mm -hmm. He's also the warranty guy. I think he just sits back and does nothing because these knives just don't need. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't have problems. Not warranty issues. Um, perhaps with the proprietary tool, maybe. We'll see, but yeah. yeah. Um, Zelric, his channel is very entertaining, and he, mm -hmm. he is the, the the American representative for Wee Knife Company. Yes. And thank you for this one. We've got some other mm -hmm. reviews coming up uh, in the future for Wee Knives, but right. Frankie, twenty five minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's call it good. Good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> let's call it good. You said shabales. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. He likes it. Yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks a lot for joining us, guys, in 617. We'll put a link in to where you can get them. Um, great deal. We love them. I would, I would carry this knife. We love we. We love we. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.